I'm a minute early maybe. And it's cold in here, so I have a sweater on. Hi guys, hi Michelle. Michelle's gonna have to leave a little bit early today. She's got to run some errands. Hello, hello, hi guys. All right, so let me go ahead while we're waiting on people to come in and I'll go ahead and start this video. Hello, I am Misty and welcome to my channel. I do these live vintage sales every Wednesday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time where I have, how many things do I have today, Emma? 60, Emma said too many, 62 things today on YouTube. And then immediately after this sale, we will go over to Instagram and I will show 15 more things. Yeah, 62 things. I mean, I norm that's, that's normal. That's what I normally do. Uh, Emma's trying to get me to not do as much, but I got the stuff and so I might as well do it. Um, the way that this works is if you, I'm going to hold an item up, it has a number. If you like that item and you want to purchase that island item, the first person to say the number in the chat will win the item. And you know what? Before I forget, let me turn off the, okay. Sorry, I had to turn off Wi-Fi because we know how that, the buffering and all that kind of stuff goes. So I forgot to do that beforehand. So I just did it now. Um, the first person who gets the number or claims the number in the chat will win the item and then you will need to send me an email thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com and uh, give me all your contact information. If you have purchased from me before, you don't have to email no, me. that's not true. If you've purchased in the last two weeks. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me no. read. If you got that email at the bottom that said you don't have to email, then you don't have to email. But if you didn't, then you can't. Okay. Let me just say this. If you have purchased something from me within the last couple weeks, you will not need to email me because I have your contact information. If, if you're a first time buyer, yay, and you'll be entered into my book. So you won't have to email me again, but um, I will send you an email. Tomorrow is the day you'll get your invoice tomorrow. We get it all done at invoice tomorrow and things will ship before Monday. So, um, and prices do not include shipping. So, you know, I will send you an idea of shipping quote. If the shipping is outrageous, I'll, I'll send you that email before I send you an invoice because I'm in Indiana and sometimes things out West can be a little, a little spendy. So I will let you know if it's like a big amount before I send you the invoice. All right. Yeah. Emma is here. She's controlling it. You will always see your, well, for the most part, you will see your name pop up first in the chat. Emma goes back and she does recheck to make sure that the person who wins it is actually the winner. And um, so, you know, you don't have to say, oh, I was first, I was first. We're going back and checking, promise. I promise, I promise. All right, so I will have to say that it's gonna be a good day because I have my strawberry refresher. That's actually strawberry refresher and not the other stuff. So cheers and let's get started. Oh wait, you know what? Before we do get started, last Thursday in my live haul, I said I was going to do a giveaway and I forgot to announce it Friday, but I got it right now. So I did the number generator and I had two things to give away. I have a uh, junk journal starter kit. These are from my friend Kathy. Other connecting. Okay, I'm I'm back. Am I back with y'all? Are you there with me? Okay, I'm back. Am I back for you? Back for Am I back? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me start that again. So my friend Kathy, Water Baby, was kind enough to send me a couple of junk journals. Well, a junk journal and a junk journal starter kit. And I have the giveaway right here. So I did the number generator and I counted the comments in that video from last Thursday. And number 35 was Lori Thomas. Lori Thomas, you won the junk journal starter kit so if you're watching now make sure that you send me an email with all your contact information so i can send this to you or if you're watching later still go ahead and send me your 
all of your information so I can send this to you. And the grand prize winner of the junk journal made by Kathy Water Baby. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, and it has a little note written from Kathy. The winner of the junk journal was number 12, and that's C.A. Susie. Yay, C.A. Susie! Which I know your real last name, but you know, Susie, you win the junk journal. So if you're buying something from me today, I will um, just, you know, attach this with you, and I'll give you a little bit of a shipping on discount because it's, you know, it's, it's a little heavy. So C.A. Susie, you win the junk journal. Yay! Okay, so yay, yay, yay for the winners. Thank you so much for commenting. And I will be doing some more giveaways, you know, later on. But I really appreciate, Kathy, you sending that, me the junk journal to do as a giveaway. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with something that were, is from my own personal collection because I'm, I, I'm not stopping this collection. I'm just thinning out some of them that I have repeats of. And it is these little wooden salt and pepper shakers. Hi guys, hi Stephanie. So I love these, these little guys. It's salty and peppy. Those are just the little nuggets, the little the little teeny tiny ones. They both have their corks. They are $5 and they are number 48. $5 number 48 for the little wooden salt and pepper shaker nuggets. Five dollars, number forty-eight. I have Newton's cupboard. Newton's cupboard, Michelle. Michelle, Michelle. All right. Next, I have a. This was in. I don't know. It was one. It was in one of my videos. The little chicken that I kind of. Oh, it was in my yard sale video. That he's got some chipping. He's got some. You know, some flea bites. And he's got a chip right there that I didn't know when I bought him. He's got the crazy eyes. Someone had, hi fat birds. Someone had mentioned something in the comments that I thought was a brilliant idea. Is that you can use, it's, a, it's an egg, it's an egg cup. You know, you, you put an egg in it and you can eat your egg out of it or put an egg in it and use it as decoration. But someone said that you could put a, um, a what are those called, Emma? Blending. Beauty blender? Oh, beauty blender. A beauty blender in here. And you can have a chicken beauty blender. Isn't that a good idea? Yeah. So that would be a good idea. Or an air plant. That's right. An air plant. Or a little candle. Or a little candle. Or your rings. And you can, there's all kinds of things you can do for it. But he does have a little bit of chipping, you know, around him. Not a lot, but it is there. He is $5 and he is number nine. $5, number nine, for the little chicken rooster. You guys know I don't know the difference sometimes. Chicken, rooster, whatever, little um, little guy. I have blue duck vintage. Blue duck vintage. Well, that's not a duck, it's a chicken. It's still a bird though. All right, next I have something that I wrestled with selling because I love this and I love the colors. And I love the graphics on it. And it is this Mexine chili powder with a little devil in his pot. I love the scroll work and the graphics on there. I think that it's, I think that it's so fun. It says Mexine on top. This will be nice. I mean, 4th of July is this weekend. But, you know, we still have Labor Day and all Shirley those other. Shirley she likes her nails. Oh, thanks, Shirley. They're stickers. And I can't remember. I ordered them online and I can't remember the name of them, but I'll try to remember the next time. But yeah, thank you. They're stickers. I like them too. But um, yeah, you could use this for Halloween too. I just love the graphics on it. So this is $8. Let me show you with all sides. Scroll work. Scroll work. There's no barcode reader on it at all. It is vintage. It's $8 and it's number 43. $8 number 43 for the Mexine and it's empty it's empty little Mexine 10 waiting on Emma to tell me who won Mama J Mama J 
Oh, and if I, you've received an email from me about the, the dogs from my live haul, I'll combine the dogs with, um, with your new purchases. Hi, Kathy. Kathy, I just gave away your, um, your junk journal and your junk journal starting kit. So Kathy Water Baby is in the chat right now. So thank you so much, Kathy. I, I appreciate it so much. And I know that um, C.A. Susie and Lori Thomas will put those to good use. Okay, so this was a popular thing. So I'm just make sure that y'all are ready. It's a, it was a popular thing. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and show it now. And it's another thing that I, I wrestled with selling because it is so cute. And, um, oh, let me take that off. It is the little mini thermos. The little mini thermos Avon bottle. Now, uh, you know, Avon does get a bad rep. Here's the thing with Avon. It's very cute. The Avon perfume bottles and cologne bottles, they were just so massively produced that they're just not worth a whole heck of a lot. But... They're so cute. Some of them are very cute. Um, I've collected the, um, the, the, it's a small world girl, um, heads, clone bottles. This is body splash. It's sweet honesty. And I'm not going to smell it again, but it's full. I can empty it out if you would like me to, if you win this. It's pretty full. I mean, if I empty it out, it'll take a little bit of the weight out, but so cute. It does say thermos, but it is made by Avon and it's got the little thermos cap it is $15 and it is number 41 $15 number 41 for the little mini thermos Avon bottle thermos I have Newton's cupboard Michelle Newton's cupboard you won the thermos I have, I, I pulled a, no, maybe just a couple, just a couple of the dogs. Hi, Tri-State Picker. So this is one of the little hound dogs that I got from the $1.99 uh, dog extravaganza antique mall. It has like little sugar, little sugar around, oh, she said wrong Michelle. Oh, wrong Michelle, meaning she wishes she was the Michelle. Gotcha. I got confused. So this, he's got like little sugared texture around his ears. I don't know what kind of dog he is. He's a cute little dog. He is made in Japan. And he's an, ooh, he about got broken. He's a nice size. He's got little sugar, sugar texture around his body a little bit too. Hi, Nicole. He is six dollars and he is number 59. oh you do michelle i like this i just sold my well about a year or so ago i sold my collection of it's a small girl perfume bottles my chat isn't there we go you got it yeah 59 i have val m val m m Val M. Yeah, it's not, well, it's like a sugar texture. I don't know if that's the the actual name of it, but it, to me, it just like feels like it's been, it's got sugar on it. All right, I have this cute little owl in my haul video, and he's just a little statue. It says, what you see is what you get, and he's pointing to himself. He's a cute little owl. He doesn't have any markings on it. Well, it says A23, whatever that means, but... He doesn't have any damage. He's just a super cute little owl, little little figurine. He is six dollars, and he is number twelve. Six dollars, number twelve, for the little owl statue. I have oh my vintage. Oh my vintage. It's such a cute little owl. All right, I do have one in this sale and I have another one in the Instagram sale. I'm selling off my Piper collection. I had a small collection, but I've replaced it with 
particular luster wear pieces and Occupy Japan pieces. So I'm just, you know, it's just a cycle. But I have this little black crow pie bird. I don't think that he's real old. He's pretty, his bottom clay is pretty, it's pretty white, but I like these pie birds because they do add a little bit of interest and height to a display. Just super cute. I mean, you could actually use this if you wanted to use it, um, but I, I just, I just like these guys and they're getting a lot harder to find, at least in these parts, but this one is $8. No chips or cracks on it and it is number 43. $8, number 43, for the little pie bird. No, well, it's not, but... What? That's not the number for it. That's not the number for it? No, but it's okay. Th uh, D got it. D, the thrill of the thrift. Would it you be... know, it wouldn't be a sale if I didn't get a number wrong. Would it be little bird, $3? No. Here, I'll let you change it. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Well, just write down pie bird. All right, next I have some really cool salt and pepper shakers. Oh, I found it. You found it? Was I wrong? Yeah, you were wrong. Oh, I was wrong. Darn it. I was hoping I wasn't wrong. Is All right. Is it the only pie bird you have? Well, I have one in my Instagram sale. Oh, no, that's fine. Okay, I'm trying to find the name of these. They are Barrette Plastic Red Salt and Pepper Shakers. There's the S and the P. They're in excellent condition. They have the little plastic bottoms to it so you unscrew and um, put your salt and pepper shaker in. They are marked Burette, Burette, Burette. I'm going to say it wrong. Boop. Um, these have like, they're kind of a swirl, pearlized plastic. You know, they are plastic. Great for a what? Vintage camper. Vintage camper. You know, or just your 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 normal kitchen. But I think that these are fun. They have like these little lines up at the top, just a design on it. Um, these are twelve dollars, and they are number fourteen. Twelve dollars, number fourteen for the red mid-century modern salt and pepper shakers. I have Michelle Comfy Cozy. Michelle Comfy Cozy. Yes, oh, they, they would be good for a picnic. Put Piper back over here. All right, this is something that Dad picked up. Thank you, Kathy. Dad picked this up, and I thought it was neat. So, Dad, you did good. You did good, Dad. Um, it's pretty heavy, and it's this um, elephant candle holder. It is brass. And he's got his trunk up, and so you know that that's a good luck elephant. But he's kind of, um, it's got kind of like an Asian flair to him. He's a little, he has a little bit of weight to him. So, you know, he's a little, he's a little bit of a hefty elephant. Just one of them. He doesn't have his friend. But I, he's got like a little bit of patina on the top. I think he's really pretty. I think Dad did good picking him out. He is $8.00. And he's number seven. Eight dollars, number seven for the brass elephant. And put his tag back on so I don't forget what number he is. Michelle Comfy Cozy. Michelle Comfy Cozy. He is kind of boho, isn't he? All right. I have a couple. Well, I actually have. Maybe this is just the, all the restaurant wear. I have a lot of restaurant wear. In fact, I have a set of plates that are amazing that I'm going to be putting on eBay this Friday. So you have to make sure that you watch that video because I've never seen the plates that I'm going to show on Friday before. They're, they're pretty amazing. These are really sweet. They are Syracuse China. They're both Syracuse China. I'll show you the back first. Just like a little condiment bowl and a little berry bowl. They have a really pretty, almost like a cherry blossom design on the sides with a scalloped edge. You can see how pretty they are. This one's a little bit smaller. They do stack nice in one another. The designs are very are exactly the same. They are Syracuse China, USA. They are, for the set, they are $10 for both of them, and they are number 33. 
Number 33, $10 for the pair of Syracuse China restaurant wearables. Okay, where's my check? Okay, there we go. All right, next I have a cute little deer. Now, this deer has, he's had a broken leg. Poor little fella. He's had a little broken leg. It is this leg right here. He's been repaired. He stands up just fine. He is made in Japan. He'd be nice for a Christmas display. He could be with your Santas. What is it? We've, we've had this discussion before, but the spots, is that a doe? Or is that a fawn? Nicole Nestinghaven knows. I know she knows this. She's, I think she's the one that told me this. Fawn has the spots. Okay, everybody. Fawn, fawn, fawn. Okay, it's a little fawn. And like I said, she has a broken leg, but she does stand up, you know, pretty good. She's $5 and she's number 18. There's her little face. $5, number 18 for the little fawn. Alrighty. Next, I have a little dog. Now, I bought this dog. Oh, I see some numbers. Andrea Joseph. Andrea Joseph. I, I bought this little dog because it reminds me of little Maybell. We get to bring Maybell home on Sunday and we're so excited. But um, I, I, I found another one. I bought another one from Jeffrey that looks even more like Maybell. So I'm selling this one because Maybell has more black around her eyes. But this little terrier dog, it's so cute. It's in great condition. It's not marked Japan, but... I think that he's made in Japan, but he's just a cute little terrier dog. He looks a little angry. That's okay. He's $5 and he's number 62. $5, 62 for the little terrier dog. Connie Cable. Connie Cable. I have a lot of littles this week, which is just fine by me because I love the littles. I have lots of planters. This is a planter heavy sale this week. And I know that you guys are fine with that because you're like me and you like planters. So this is a little Shawnee piece. It is, I love the colors on this. It's the little boy and a little girl, little planter here. You could put a succulent in this, an air pot, an air plant would be great as well. You'd kind of want something a little bit taller because she's kind of, kind of block, her dress is kind of blocking the way. But they're really pretty. I like the purple and the blue and the pink together. It says it's it says New York on the bottom that somebody has written on there themselves. But very cute. There's no no damage on this at all. It's in really good condition. It's really clean on the inside too. Hi Mary. This is ten dollars, and it's number fifteen. Ten dollars, number fifteen, for the little happy dancing couple. Now, I am fairly certain that this is Shawnee. Um, I do, I, I've had this one before and it was Shawnee. So look at his little beady eyes. <laughs> She's Lori C. Lori C. This is going to you. Now I have two of these that I'm going to show. I'm showing the little one first and then I have a couple more that I will show uh, probably next week. But this uh, is something that I just got picked up last weekend, and it is a McCoy flower pot. It's McCoy on the bottom, and a really pretty sunny yellow. It's the basket weave design. I have its big sister over here I'll show in a few minutes. Um, but this is, has the built-in tray, and it has the built-in kind of the water spout. I love the sunny yellow collar. Very, very pretty. No, no damage on it at all. It's in excellent condition. This is $10 and it is number 39. $10, number 39 for the small McCoy flower pot. I have Kathy Forbes. Kathy Forbes. Was Lori C first? Yes, she was. They aren't Essie. Um, 
They're like, it was something I saw on Instagram. It was like nail mail or mail nail or something like that. But I like them. They're, this one's, I got some of them were a little big for my nail bed. So I have to, I have to mess with them a little bit. But yeah, they're, they're a lot of fun. I'm really liking these, these stickers an awful lot. All right, this is a milk glass bottle with a Bakelite lid. Where's the lid? It is a Bakelite lid. Milk glass, glass bottle. I have one of these at home. I have it in, sitting up on a shelf. I just, I just like it. It was probably some sort of beauty bottle. It had some sort of beauty product in it, but I liked it. There's no markings on the bottom of it. It is $5, and it's number 27. $5, number 27, for the milk glass bottle with the Bakelite lid. D, the thrill of the thrift. That is yours, girlfriend. This was something that I picked up also at the antique shopping with my best friend, Cindy. Hi, Jackie. I just liked it. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, it probably had other sets that went with it, but it's this little candy divided dish and it has like a, a lacquer all over it. So it's like a yarn almost. And it has this lacquer that goes all the way around and it has this red inside. I, it, I don't know that it had a lid. I just thought it was interesting. I liked it and it is divided. The glass is in excellent condition. The glass does not come out of the insert. It's stuck in there all together, but it says candy. So you can put your candy in here. This is $6 and it's, it's a little, it's a little heavy. It's a glass dish. So I think looks are deceiving because it looks a lot, a lot lighter than what it is. It is number 60 and it is $6. It does look very 1960s. 1950s i thought it was i just thought it was fun put your candy in it you know it would be cute for halloween too you put some halloween candy in there like those orange and black mary jane candies would look neat in here because this is black it's coming across a little brown but it is black ca Susie. hi mom my mom's getting ready to go to florida guys my mom sold her house and she's moving to florida so they're going, they're flying out tomorrow to uh, go see the house that they're wanting to buy. Uh, yeah, the, the Lucite candles will be up on eBay on Friday. Andrea. It would be cute for someone named Candy. Candy could put her, her candy in there. They're moving to Naples, Naples, Florida. So it's still a little bit further, far away from Alex, but I can still go down and... Um, visit my mom and maybe drive and go see Alex. So that would be fun. All right. I don't know if Rachel's watching or not, but Rachel needs all the bottles and all the land. And I don't blame her because I like bottles too. And I have a lot of them, but I collect the white, the bottles with the white lettering on them. So this is a 7-Up bottle, a vintage 7-Up bottle. Doesn't have the bubble girl on it. I think this might be my last 7-Up bottle. I think I just bought a box of bottles that I have to clean. So the candy did sell. It was number 60 for $6 that it already sold. But um, this is really cool. Just a cool little vintage 7-Up bottle. Great for summer display. It's $6 and it is number 26. $6, number 26. Let me put this and this over here. Okay. Now, I don't know. These, I try to do a little bit of research on them. I've had these for a while. And, oops. Put that on there better. And to me, they look very Holt Howard. I don't, I don't think that they are, but they just, they look. And I, you know what? I have a Holt Howard book and I haven't even looked in that book for these. But they're these little condiment jars this one says mustard zoom in there so you can see Boop. see it says mustard and it, 
it has it's supposed to have a little it's a little condiment it has a little spoon on the inside it does come out of the silver um, canister it says Japan on the bottom so there's mustard and then this one says jam and jelly it has a green lid this one does not have the spoon with it it's also in excellent condition no chips or cracks and it says Japan and the bottom of the silver dish also says Japan so I they look very Holt Howard esque they're definitely from that time period from the 1950s early late 1950s 1960s these are $15 for the set you get both of them for $15 I know it's a weird combination they probably were a whole set of them but they are $15 for number 42 for both of them so you get both of them $15 number 42 for the little condiment Holt Howard-esque but maybe Holt Howard 42, I have Michelle at Mermaid Cove. Michelle at Mermaid Cove. All right. A lot of Michelles. I know, there's a lots of Michelles. Lots of Michelles. That's okay. All right, okay, this was in my video. And a lot of people had commented on this because I said, how could I leave this little baby behind? And no, I haven't sold the Pelican Planter yet. It's coming. Um, I, I couldn't leave this little, this little baby behind. I need to take a little Clorox wipe to him because he's got a little bit of a dirty face, but it's this little bird. How cute is he? Look at his eyelashes. He's got gold and red dots on him. He is marked Japan on the bottom. He's just a little nugget. How could I leave him behind? He was just sitting on a table all by himself. He's not a salt and pepper shaker. He's just, he's just a little, a little figure. Isn't he cute? He just like has his little arms open and wanting somebody to pick him up. But he is three dollars and he's number ten. What? Someone's a chicken nugget. It is a chicken nugget. Three dollars, number ten. Boop, boop, boop. I thought he was so cute. I couldn't leave. This is what I do. I, I leave it. I can't leave this behind. And you'll see tomorrow is my video. Of shopping at George's over the weekend and you'll see one thing in particular that I just couldn't I'm I could Mariah not snap. Mariah snap I know his little face is so cute um yes Je uh, Jared asked said something about the pillows I have some pillows now that doesn't mean mom's not gonna stop making pillows she'll make pillows probably and probably send them to me or when she comes down and visits she'll bring I don't know I'm sure she will because she likes to do them you gotta save him from eating a chicken nugget okay now this is okay because it doesn't have a clown on it and you know I don't like clowns hi Patrick this is a little circus glass and I got it over the weekend at a yard sale but it has the ringmaster and a tiger and a little circus curtain. I don't know who makes this. I, I didn't look it up. I, I could have, but I didn't. And I'm sure maybe somebody knows who has made this. I have the a, a really good Tumblr book. I can't think of the name of it, but I haven't looked it up because there's no time. I don't have time. Um, but this is very cute. Just one. There's just one of them. It is $5 and it's number, I'm sorry, it's $6. And it's number five. Six dollars, number five for the little circus tumbler. I thought it was unique. I don't see them very often, especially without clowns on them. Who wants a clown? Not um, me. Teresa Bryant. Teresa Bryant. These were cute. Now, these have, they're cold painted. I don't know why. There's something with the red coloring that gets cold painted. And it, this is kind of brown though. But you can see with, this is Oliver and Olivia, little owls. And Olivia is so smitten with Oliver. Oh, Oliver, you're my hero, strong man. But Oliver's pants are starting to fade away. So the blue and the yellow and all the other parts of Oliver and Olivia are the, the, 
the paint is is underneath the glaze but for some reason the paint on oliver's britches is cold painted on so they painted it afterwards now maybe you could just peel the rest of it off and oliver can just have white pants on i don't know but they're so cute aren't they they are marked japan and you can see oliver and olivia they don't have their stoppers. They are little salt and pepper shakers. These are something else that dad had picked up and I thought he did a good job. I think that they're really cute. There isn't any damage on them other than Oliver's losing his pants. But they are $6 for the pair of them and they're number 23. $6 for Oliver and Olivia and they are number 23. Side Street Market. Side Street Market. Okay, I have several milk bottles. I have a lot. Well, I probably have maybe 10, which to me is a lot. But I'm, I'm going to try this little one. I like the graphics on this one. And if Jeffrey's watching, Jeffrey would probably like this one too because Jeffrey loves ice cream. And this says... It's going to be kind of hard to see, but it's Eat and Enjoy Bridgman Ice Cream. So I like that it had an, here's the little bottle. It's just a little half pint bottle. And it has Bridgman's Ice Cream on the little sundae in orange. And on this side, it says Bridgman's Pasteurized Milk. And I love that block font on there. It does have the little, um, the little lid on it but it doesn't go with it the lid is from eaton's dairy in allegheny new york but bridgman's pasteurized milk uh do you say where you're from it's just a little half pint but it's in excellent condition it is nine dollars and fifty cents and it's number 19. nine dollars and fifty cents for the bridgman's ice cream half pint milk bottle I have Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Let me know if you want me to do more milk bottles. I have, I think I have a couple more half pint ones, but I do have a lot of the bigger ones too. I don't know, Deanna, you have to send me an email if I have any Wayne Dairy in Richmond, Indiana. I might, I have, I might have some Indiana ones, so just let me know. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah, hit the thumbs up. Okay, now... This guy has a big chip out of his head, but he's fancy. I mean, how can you not? Look at Fancy Pants. Emma, do you love him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at how cute he is. Look at his tails. He's just, he's got a book in his hand. I don't know why. He's got a little bow tie on, and look at his little kissy lips. Now, he's got a couple little dings on his hat. But I couldn't resist him because I think that he's fun and fancy. And he's just living his best life carrying his little book around in his fancy clothes. I love his colors and I like boy figurines. You don't see, you don't, I don't see, you don't see a lot of, you see more girl figurines than you do the boy figurines and I like them. So I liked him even though he has some little chippies, but really from the front you can't even really tell. So he would be neat in a tiered tray. I don't know. I just think he's cute. He's six dollars. Yeah, he does look like he's been in a windstorm. He's trying to hold on to his hat. Six dollars, and he's number sixty-one. Six dollars, number sixty-one for Mister Fancy Pants. Holding on to his hat. I liked him. That's me. I buy stuff like that. I know Suzanne McLean. Suzanne McLean. Okay, y'all, I've got some Pyrex. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Is this, oh, bye, Michelle. I hope she has a good time. Michelle's taking her doctor, her doctor. She's taking her doctor to the airport. <laughs> She's taking her daughter to the airport. So, bye, Michelle. I'll talk to you later. So, is this butterfly gold? Nicole, are you still in the chat? Is this butterfly gold? I think that it is. It looks like the dishes that we have at home. Yeah, we have these dishes at home. I like Corel. Mine are Corel. They're not Pyrex. This is the creamer and sugar. Butterfly gold, yes. All right, butterfly gold. And here's the creamer. It looks just like a coffee mug, but it's got the little spout on it. And then here is the sugar bowl, and it's got a plastic lid. I like that it still has the lid. 
They are Pyrex. You boy, there we go. They're both marked Pyrex on the bottom. And thanks, Tri-State. So you get this set of them, a pair of them, the both of them, for, I can't remember, $15, and they are number 13. $15, number 13, for the Butterfly Gold Cream and Sugar with... I think that they were yes and no. I think that they, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I think that they were, I think that they may have merged in into one and then they had the same patterns because my butterfly gold is Corel. It's not Pyrex and it's the exact same pattern. So I don't quite know. Um, I have Jacqueline Vaccaro. Jacqueline Vaccaro? Vaccaro. Vaccaro. Jacqueline Vaccaro, you win the Pyrex, salt and pepper, or no, um, cream and sugar. Okay, these are super cute. Let me take the tag off so I can show them to you clearly. I got these over the weekend too, and oh my gosh. This one is marked Irwin. Look at that. I'm selling them together as a set. But look, it's like a jadeite green plastic. It's plastic with a little rocking horse transfer. But look at the little handle. Isn't that sweet? And I'm also selling it with, because I think they look really good together. The little two-handled cup with the little mouse, spare. I know she's kind of missing a lot of her transfer. But the bottom of this is more like a, like a seafoam green color, too. This one doesn't have any maker on it, but... I think these are precious. They would look cute with a plant in them, honestly. Um, or just, they're just very kitschy and mid-century. I like the colors on them. So I'm selling them as a set. So, oh, yeah, your Q-tips in there? That's a good idea. So they're $10 for the set of them. And they're number 49. $10, number 49. They're both plastic for the baby cups. Yep, Suzanne McLean. Suzanne McLean. Yeah, those are so cute. I love those. All right, let's do some doilies. Do a few. I always forget because I put the doilies kind of over in the corner and I forget that they're there. I have a set. Now these, they kind of match, but they don't. They're circle. Or red. This one has a bunch of different colors on it and it has the fabric with the embroidered daffodil. So this one's kind of a pastel rainbow color. This one is the same size, but it's blue and white. I'm trying to hide the tag. It's blue and white with, well, whatever flower that is on the inside. So you get both of them. I have them together as a set for $6, and they're number 54. $6, number 54 for the doilies. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Okay, I have a, I got this over the weekend too. It's New York, the Empire State. It's a frosted state glass. Now, it isn't marked. And again, I didn't look in decorated tumbler. I don't even know if this would be in there, honestly. But it has Niagara Falls, Lake Ontario, Lake Erie, Buffalo. It has, well, it has New York on it. All the different places and sights and sounds in New York. No maker's mark on the bottom. It is frosted. It's in excellent condition. There's no chips on it anywhere. Well, it has Hyde Park on it, West Point, Coney Island. I've never been to New York and it's a place that I really would like to go to someday. I've never been out West at all. So this is $8 and it's number six. $8, number six for the New York frosted state glass. D. Oh, yeah, D lives up in Niagara Falls. All right, this is super cute. And I, I actually had several customers that would come in and they were always looking for these. And it is this little miniature rolling pin. And it's funny because, oh, did I say west? Well, I've never been out east. I have been west. And I'd like to go out east you next. You don't know right, left, east, Oh, be quiet, west. Emma. 
I do too. No, you don't. Anyway, it's a little baby or small miniature rolling pin. And it's funny because I, when I had customers looking for this, I didn't have any and I couldn't find them. And now I, I have, well, this is the second one that I've had. But it does spin. It's really cute. They do look cute in like little mini Crocs or um, I have some smaller ironstone pieces that look cute sitting at the top of or sitting out of. This is $6 and it's number 22. <laughs> Emma Tube Misty Zero. Michelle or Andrea. See, I'm even saying the wrong name. She's not with it today. Oh, be quiet, Emma. 22. Number 22. Suzanne McLean. Suzanne McLean. All right, I have a, now I think in my video I said that this was Fire King, but it's not, it's Anchor Hawking. And it is Strawberry Shortcake. It's a Strawberry Shortcake mug. I was sending you telepathic messages. <laughs> yeah, you were, Michelle. Oh, I do have Starbucks today. Yes, or, they actually had strawberry refreshers today. So Emma picked me up one. So, Strawberry Shortcake Milk Glass Mug. It is Anchor Hawking. Now, it does have, like, it has, like, a little brown spot there. So, it's not, like, free of staining and stuff. It doesn't have any spoon marks on the inside. And, like I said, it is Anchor Hawking. And this one's kind of a bigger size. I don't have a normal size coffee mug, but it's a bigger size than most of them. And it is, this one is $8 and it's number 17. $8, 17. This one says American Greetings. I don't know. Um, MC, I don't know. It's that. MC, MCMLXXX. Mariah Snap. Mariah Snap. Okay, we got some more doilies. Now these are all exactly the same. All three of them are the same. And they are these green, round, with like these little tentacles. Tentacles. That's a good, that's a good, oh, 1980. Okay, great. With these green tentacles on it. And this has not been ironed or pressed. So if you press this, then the tentacles will be nice and opened. So there are three of them. I'm not doing a very good job showing them because I'm trying to hide the tag but they've got little tentacles on all three of them they are eight dollars and they're number 53 and you do get three one two three you get all three of them for eight dollars number 53 i have lesta fitzpatrick lesta fitzpatrick someone asked if there's a sale later tonight there's a what there's a sale later tonight. Yes, Nicole Nesting Haven ha is having her sale tonight at 7 Eastern. So she's having her sale tonight. And then tomorrow at 7. You're so bad at these. I know. Look tomorrow at, at 7, I think Nicole at Nicole North Garden is having a sale at 7. I think Patrick, trusty huckster, is having his at 8. I have a calendar, but I don't think... Um, uh, Nicole North Garden is, is on there. But Nesting Haven, Nicole, is having hers tonight at 7 Eastern. Michelle Comfy Cozy tomorrow at 1. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Michelle Comfy Cozy is having hers tomorrow at 1. In the community tab of, well, I will put it, I'll put it in the community tab, but it is on my Instagram. I did post the new calendar on Instagram. Nicole North Garden is next Thursday. Oh, it's next Thursday? Yes. Okay. Well, tonight is Nesting Haven at 7 o'clock. Tomorrow at 1 o'clock is Michelle Comfy Cozy. 8 p.m. is, 8 PM is Patrick, Trusty Huckster Mercantile. Friday, Friday at 1 p.m. is Alex. And Jeffrey's taking a break. So Jeffrey is not having one. And then Saturday. No, Friday at 10 p.m. is Flippin' and Sippin'. Oh, at 10? Yeah. Oh, Friday at 10 p.m is flipping and si sipping. And then July 4th. At Fatbird Fines. Is work in progress. Work in progress is having hers on 4th of July at? One. One. It's on the calendar. All times are Eastern. That's what you said. It's, it's, on, it's on my calendar. I'll post it on my community page. Okay. 
Oh, I just type in live sale in the search bar and see what pops up. Yeah, I do that sometimes too, or just hit on subscriptions. So make sure that you're subscribed to all of these channels, because if you're not subscribed to them, you're not gonna get notified when they go up. So make sure that you do subscribe to all of these channels. All right, I have a vintage apron. This might be one of the last ones I have left, honestly. No, I take that back, I have more. I just, they're just back there. But this one is $12, it's a sheer one. This one's really pretty. It's got the rickrack and blue and yellow floral pattern on it. It's in great shape. There is one small little hole right there through the sheer part. So it's like half of it's sheer and half of it's not. But this number, or it's $12 and it's number 20. Does tie in the back. I like the colors on this, the red and the yellow and the blue. $12, number 20. About 230 watching. 228 according to my phone. Mm -hmm. Lori C got number 20. Lori C. I thought Fat Bird's fine not to take. I don't know. Laura and Mary Beth, are you guys doing your your um your flipping flipping and sipping? Flipping and sipping. Flipping and sl and slipping. <laughs> flipping and sipping. Slipping and flipping. I was reading the calendar. Don't shoot the best. M said, don't shoot the messenger. Okay, now this is the type of bottle that I like. I like the red and the white. I already have several of these, so um, this might be my last one of the Town Club. Um, it was bottled in Indianapolis, Indiana. This one is just, well, it's just, what are you? It doesn't say what, I think it's just the cola. But it's just so pretty. And it is $6, and it's number 29. Great in a display, $6, number 29 for the Town Club bottle. I don't think this, this one didn't sell, did it? I can move it over here. All right. This one's probably going to be pretty popular, so make sure that you've got your little fingers ready. Mariah Snap got um, the Town Club bottle. Mariah Snap got the Town Club bottle. So now it is time for the Pelican. The Pelican and his cart. The Pelican and his wagon. I did not take the time to look this up, but he's awesome. This color just, I'm like to this color. If I see something with this color in the store, I'm just, but my dad found this. So dad did find this. He actually, was video chatting he's like should i get this and i was like yeah you should so this pelican he's in great condition he does have some crazing on the inside which is beautiful i i like the crazing myself he's not marked on the bottom isn't it pretty oh it's so so good great for i mean it's a planner it's a good planner so it's great for a plant this is 18 dollars, and it's number two no chips or cracks on it anywhere. $18, number two, for the really pretty teal pelican planter. I have Barb Murphy. Barb Murphy. Barb Murphy, you won the pelican. This is really adorable. This is adorable. It's a little scarf. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Let me show you the, kind of show you the big picture. It's a little children's scarf. Again, it has that beautiful color on it, but it's got these little worker animals on it. So we have, we have a street cleaner. That's a little fox. We have a policeman. That's a little dog. We have a fireman. That's a little cat. And we have a postman that's a little duck. Isn't that cute? I mean, you, now you could do this. I don't, I don't know if I want to say this out loud, but you could, you could cut this and make four different pillows out of it. I know, I, I don't like to say that, but I mean, you could, it could be done. You, because they're all like facing different ways. 
the the edge of it is a little frayed but my goodness it's so cute it's pretty thin but it, there aren't any holes in it anywhere except for the fraying around the side it is eight dollars and it's number 52. eight dollars number 52 for the precious little worker animals Newton's cupboard. Better to reuse than to hide it away. I know. I know that I'm kind of, I get kind of iffy with that because I do, I I like to keep things how they are. Um, I mean, if it's got like dirt and stuff on it, you want to clean it off. But it, like, I don't, I don't polish any of my silver. I like the patina on it. And I don't get the stains out of fabrics. And all these fabrics are clean, but not treated. I will say that. Oh, yeah. With your dad's firefighter items. All right. I have a vintage Dr. Pepper bottle. I don't like Dr. Pepper, but a lot of people do. This one is um, kind of the thicker bottle. You can just tell that it's vintage with the font that's on there. There's no um, barcode readout on it. I don't know if you can kind of tell. See how thick that bottom is on that glass? So really fun for a, um, a display. I don't like Dr. Pepper myself. I know a lot of people do, but this is $6 and it's number 28. $6, number 28. The bottle itself is like, has like a little bit of a green hue to it. I don't know if that's picking up on camera or not, but $6, number 28. Dr. Play Pepper flavor is from Plums. Really? I have Sharon Olson. Sharon Olson. I just have never been in Dr. Pepper. Makes you poop. To me, it tastes like medicine. All right. This is another planter that Dad had found. It's a cute little, not a wishing well. What is this? A pump? Water pump? It's like a, like a little barrel. Finally, someone doesn't like Dr. Pepper, too. I don't like Dr. Pepper. Um, but it has, the, the, the pottery itself has a little bit of staining. You can see there. It's a water pump. Okay. And I, this one kind of, I'm not sure. Now, it is a planter. You know, you can put a plant in it. But I am not sure why that there's a ledge here. It could very well have been the top of something as well. But I'm not I'm not sure. Just the ledge around it just puzzles me. And I didn't take the time to, to research this at all. But there aren't any cracks or chips or dings on it. There is crazing on it and some of the discoloration along the ledge. Now, I've not cleaned out this. I will clean it out before I send it to you. But this is $8 and it is number 8 eight dollars number eight. yeah so you can kind of see the discoloration a little bit in there but it would look cute with soap in it next to your sink or maybe even i wonder if like a bottle of um hand soap would fit in there and you can keep it next to your sink i have mariah h mariah h make sure she's so make sure mariah i don't recognize your name so make sure that you do send me an email thrifter junker vintage hunter at gmail.com there's no markings on the bottom of it. It does sit flat. It does sit flat, but I don't know. That ridge around it just has me wondering. Here's a fun guy. Now, I tried to do a little bit of research on this, and I couldn't find a whole heck of a lot. He's very mid-century to me. He's also a planter, and you just so happen to plant a plant in his happy spot. <laughs> I don't know about that, but okay. He has gorgeous praising. See, I love crazing. To me, it's just character. He's playing his little guitar. I know that's not the name of this instrument, but he's just, you know, strumming along crotch plants. You can put, in fact, I have. Someone said he's a cactus. 
maybe, but I have a little succulent. So, you know, I'm not sure about that, but whatever. You could put an air plant. You could put an air plant in here. But I like him. I'm not sure. He's very mid-century to me. Now, this is like the blue paint kind of, just kind of drip down. He doesn't have any flaws. He does have, and I tried scraping it away, like some, some smudge on here. And I've tried wiping it off with a Clorox wipe. It does come off when I use my barely fingernails to scrape it off, but it is a little bit of staining there on the back. Uh, but he's in really good condition. You know, you could say, here, here's your crotch man as a gift for you. I just think that he was just unique. I liked him. But he is, he's $15 and he is number 38. Number 38. Otromon too. Oh, Otromon. Yeah. If you know anything more about him, Otromon, I'd like to... I'd like to know if you know any more about him. I think that he's, I don't know. I just saw him and I thought that he was interesting. So I liked him. Yeah, you'll always see your name pop up first. Emma does go back through and check. So I promise make sure you. sure you're in live chat, not top chat. Yes, make sure that you are in live chat and not top chat. Make sure that you refresh your page. Sometimes you have to completely close out and then come back in again. Yeah, I think he looks cool. Okay. Let me take the tag off so I don't give away the... Aren't these precious? These are just... They, again, they have beautiful crazing on them and the little gold paint. Now, on the beaks, a little bit of the gold is worn, but there is a salt and pepper shaker and a little condiment dish. And it has a little spoon mark where you can put a spoon. They're not marked. I These are made in Japan. I can just tell by feeling them. But look at the little salt and pepper shakers, how they nestle on top of one another. They don't have their corks. But I think that they're just so cute, how they just stack. I've never seen anything like this, that they just kind of stack up like that. I think that they're fun. And just very dainty and cute. And they've got little gold wings. These are $10 for all three of them. And they are number 40. Ooh, $10, number 40 for the swans. Right? Yeah, I think they're swans. I have Mariah H. Mariah H. They're fun. I like these a lot. I like, and I like that sound. Do you hear that sound? It's a good sound. Okay, now I'm gonna show you these and I'm selling them separate, but if you, well, let me just, oh, they're, they're turtle, but they're three, they're three turtle ducks. I don't know, they look like swans. I don't know, but I have this little set here. Now they don't go together but they're they're married now but they're i'm selling them separate because you may not want the mugs on the tree so lucy is oh sorry lucy get off my face laura's dog's trying to sit on my face okay oh three frenchians i get you so these are fun little a uh, mug tree oops let me put that over there so these mugs stack for stacking mugs. Let me stick this tag on the inside of this one so nobody sees. But see, they stack. They're they're like the avocado green and the fun orange with the with a drip glaze. They are marked Japan on the bottom. There aren't any any chips cracks. Now, occasionally on these you'll see these little glazing flaws. And the little bumpy bumps but there's not there aren't any chips or cracks or flaws on them anywhere so the mugs themselves you get all four mugs all four mugs for fifteen dollars and they're number four 
All four mugs are $15 and they're number four. Atromon 2. Atromon 2. And then I have this um, mug tree. I, I have painted these myself before. I've just spray painted them whatever color I wanted. I kind of like the brown with the earth tones, though. I think that's a kind of a fun look. But the mug tree, it's just wooden. It's not that heavy. It's pretty lightweight. The mug tree is $10 and it's number 36. $10, number 36 for the mug tree. I'm gonna hang these back on there so they... I have Lori Potter. Lori Potter. I'm just gonna hang these back on there so I have a little bit more room on this table. Don't forget you have doilies. Oh, yeah, I'll go ahead and show another one. I have a set of three of these little pot holders. There's this one, yellows, greens, and reds, the little rainbow colored one, and I love this one, the red and white with a star on it. These look really cute if you hang them above like your kitchen window from a little valance because they've, they've got these little hooks on them so you can almost make like a little curtain. Um, they are $8 for all three of them, and they're number 50. Yeah, Nicole, I, I, I had a lot of those mug trees here in the shop, too. They do because they don't take a lot of space. So, oh, hi, Elle and Stacy. Oh, they're both bidding. It's a mom and daughter battle. Well, Elle was first. Emma said Elle was first. Elle wins. Okay, I have the big sister to the small McCoy pot. This is the sister. Where'd the small one go? Oh, see, here's the small one. The small one has been sold. And there's the big one. It is marked McCoy. Now, McCoy's not always marked McCoy. They're tricky. They're tricky like that. Um, this is in great condition. There's no chips on it. I just picked it up this weekend. I used to have a ton of this McCoy. I used to collect all of these McCoy flower pots and I would have them on my front porch with different plants and stuff in them. But this one also has the built in tray. No, no damage on it. There's some, a little bit of dirt on the inside. It is $15 and it's number 31. $15 number 31 for the little sunny yellow uh, McCoy basket weave flower pot. Sandy P. Is that her name or you just can't pronounce her name? I don't know how to say her last name. Palmatier. Palmatier. Sandy, Sandy P. P. Okay, I have a pillow. I have two pillows. I'm going to show one now. This is a smaller one that mom has made. It's got pinks and blues and greens. And, it ha and the other side is kind of a patterned white with some little floral patterns. Both sides have vintage buttons on them. Just a small little pillow, great for a chair or for a front porch swing. It is $12 and it's number 34. $12, number 34. And this is vintage, a vintage quilt top that she's used on the pillow. Shirley Pearl. Hi, Nicole North Garden. We were just saying, I thought you were having a sale tomorrow, but it's next Thursday. Next Thursday is Nicole's sale. I just picked these up too at a yard sale over the weekend. I just thought they were pretty. And yet again, I didn't look them up. So I, I, they could be worth millions of dollars. They're not, but they're pretty transfer wear plates with birds on them. I thought that they were really pretty. This one, I think that this one kind of looks like a little hummingbird. They are, they are transfer on there. The backs of them say Melody. And this one has two different birds on them. Both transfer. I thought they'd be pretty 
out to use as a display. There's no, no damage on them at all. They are $10 for the set of them and they're number 11. $10 for the pair and they're number 11. Yeah, I thought they were pretty high, Annie. I, I just, I don't know, I'm weird. I like that sound. I know sometimes people are in the videos and they're like, oh, you're, you're clinging the stuff together and you're not. That's just the way that the microphone's picking it up. But there's just something about that clanking sound that I like. All right, now I've got a little scale. I love these. Of course, you guys know that I like advertisement pieces. I'm gonna try to hold this where you're not gonna see the tag. But it's this little Chatillion family scale. Look at this little thing. Isn't it cute? Now it says it's made in the USA. What does it say? Not, not, Something use in trade. I can't read what that says. It's rusty and crusty. Not legal. I don't know what it says, but it's really, really pretty. I like that it's kind not of legal for use in trade. Not legal for use in trade. Does that make sense? Okay. Looks, looks like to me. We'll see. We'll, we'll say that's what it says. But it has the top hook and the bottom hook. These look super cute. You can hang a little flower pot on them. I think that they're adorable. I've sold some of these before that didn't have like this paint. They were just brass. This one is not brass. It is metal. It is $15.50 and it's number 37. I kind of had it just laying on the side. I think it looks cute like that, but it would be cute with a little flower, a little flower pot hung from it. And I mean, it probably still works. The spring is still pretty good in it. I know Chantilly Chandra. Chantilly Chandra. I love saying your name. Chantilly Chandra. It's a fun name to say. Uh-oh. What's this one? What's number? Owl brown shakers. Oh. Okay. Never mind. That was something that... I, it's all good. It's an old tag. So this is, I don't think that it's a tablecloth. It's big. At one time, my mom said it was a, what did she call it? Because she was here when I wrote the tag a long time ago. It's a vintage bed cover. So to me, it looks like a big sheet. So, I mean, that would make sense. But it has, in the middle of it, oh, it's big. It has a basket embroidered with flowers coming out of it. It is hand embroidered. And then on the bottom, in the bottom corners, it has two small little baskets that are embroidered. It's the same on both sides. It's the same on both sides. It doesn't have it at the top. Here's the top. There's no flowers. Is it like full or queen size, do you think? It's definitely not king. I don't know if it's, a, it could be, it could fit a queen, but it, I don't think that it would cover the sides fully. It definitely would fit. Oh, bye, 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 Trice Tate. It definitely would fit a, a, a twin size bed or a full. Or full. It wouldn't fit a queen. It would be a full. But down the middle, it has a, is that picking up that stripe? Uh, it's like a stripe in the fabric. Yeah, yeah kind of. Hi, Graham. But it's very pretty. Now, it isn't free of a couple little, you know, those little brown rust stains that you kind of see. It has them not very, not in very many places, but they are present. But I haven't treated this. I have washed it, not treated it. But it's very unique. And I, I thought, it's not a tablecloth, but it's so funny because it only has it down here. But I think that it is a bed cover. Summer quilt. Yeah. They don't have those here. I've never heard of it before around here, but it's $18 and it's number 51. $18, number 51 for the bed summer quilt bed cover. It's really crisp linen. Oh yeah, L Brinkley. L Brinkley. It's really nice. 
But I, you know, it can be a hundred degrees outside and at night, it drives my husband nuts. I still sleep with an electric blanket on. Not on his side. But yeah, not on his side. It's folded over in half on my side. So it's not touching him in any way. Okay, the bird plate I'm gonna put over here. All right. I love the collar on these. Now, unfortunately, I only have two of these plates. But, oh gosh, what was the name on this? Well, in the video that I did yesterday, it was the name. It, these are Pyrex. Gosh darn it, I can't remember the name of the pattern. I only have one dinner plate and one saucer. But still together on a shelf. Aren't those pretty? They are both marked Pyrex on the bottom. To Pyrex tableware. Made in the USA. Tableware by Corning. They're in great condition. Well, it does feel like there's one little flea bite right there, which is laurel leaf. Yes, that's it which is really rare for this kind of tableware, but it has one little little flea bite up there. But I think that they would look neat displayed together like that. So you get both of them and they're a little hefty. I mean, they're like a restaurant wear piece. They are $10 for the pair and they're number 30. $10 for the pair of Laurel Leaf Pyrex tableware, plate and saucer. I wish I had more, but I do not. I have Lori C. Lori C. Okay. Now, who likes Dayer? I know a lot of people do. This is really pretty, and this is like the... Not a tray, but kind of a tray, but not kind of a bowl. It has a really pretty birds on it with the blue. Hi, Vint Hi Vintage Thrifted Treasures, otherwise known as Laura Melendez. I've got, he's got the birds on it. Yeah, the biscuit tins. I have a biscuit tin here coming up very soon. This one is the bowl tray plate. It's marked Dayer on the back. In uh, designed by Dayer, Long Island, New York, uh, made in England, patent pending. Pretty. This is $12. Oh, and before I tell you the number, there are there is some wear. Do you see the wear? It has some wear around, around the rims a little bit. So I just wanted to point that out there. It's $12 and it's number 21. But you can display it. I had it displayed on a plate rack. Like that. $12, number 21. All right. I have, I don't know who made this, but I just thought it was interesting. And I can't say this fully because it's got a naughty word on it. So I'll just hold it up and let you and let you read that part. But it has a cowboy and the horse is going off the cliff. And you see it says, whoa, whoa, you son of a. So the horse just went off the cliff. Now, this is an old piece. It's not marked, but it's got the, the crazing on it, which I love. You see the crazing on it. So it's just a little trinket tray. I actually had it kind of propped up on a little, on, this, on a small plate rack too. But it's just a kind of a, I don't know, it's just kind of a little neat piece. This is $8 and it's number 56. $8, number 56 for the horse going off of the cliff tray. I have to turn on too. After I'm on too. I had a request for some vintage kitchen utensils. So I have this one is, is it A and K? I think it's A and K. Or, yeah. It is a high speed blender. 
trying to find it. I think that's a wooden handle. Yeah, it's a wooden handle. It's not big light. Now, it's a little, I don't think I would use this on my eggs because it's a little rusted out. But you can put it in a crock. You know, you can hang it up. It's just a display piece. And is that A and P or A and J? It's kind of rusty up there. I think it's A and J. High speed beater. It is $8 and it's number 44. $8, number 44. This is a wood handle. It's not Bakelite. $8, number 44. Yeah, number 44. This is wooden too. I got this too just because I thought it was interesting. I have Laura Melendez. Laura Melendez, Vintage Thrifting Treasures. Yeah, a lot of people do hang them. I put them in Crocs. I bought this because I thought it was interesting. It is stainless, smart stainless USA. It's a pizza cutter. And it still has a, I mean, you can still cut pizza with this. This is a wooden handle. It's not Bakelite. It does mark stainless USA. You just don't see a pizza cutter, pizza wheel very often. And I thought it was neat. So I got it. It is $5.45. It's very lightweight too. It has a little where you could hang it if you wanted to, but I just thought it was a neat little piece because I don't see the pizza cutters very often. So it's five dollars, number forty-five. I have Annie out and about vintage. Annie out and about vintage. Okay, I have the the other dare biscuit tin. This matches the bowl, which didn't sell so. I still have that available, $12, number 21, but they match. Andrea says she keeps buffering. Am I buffering? Mm -hmm. They do match. You can see on the side it has the birds. So the this is $12, number 21. This is also made by Dare. It's the same pattern. Oh, you were buffering, but you're fine now. Okay, thank you. It's got the birds on it. There is, it's actually in really good condition. I mean, it does have some wear along the top a little bit. It does open up. It's really clean on the inside. It does have a little bit of markings on the bottom. This is $15 and it's number 24. $15, number 24. And it is marked Dare on the bottom. Chantilly Chandra. Chantilly Chandra. I have another pillow. This one's so neat. I have just a few more things left. My mom also made a pillow, and I really like this one. I have lots of mom's pillows, so I can't keep them all. But this one is really pretty. It's made with a vintage quilt topper, and it has red, white, and blue. And then I think these are kind of a dark blue on the corners here and a little bit of pink around the sides. Isn't that fun? She used vintage buttons and then, oh, she bought, okay. Um, Chantilly Chandra, just send me, send me an email and let me know that cause I'll forget it. But Nicole Chantilly Chandra bought you that tin. That was sweet. I love this community. Everybody's so nice. But the back of it is kind of a linen and it has another vintage button on the inside. So this is a pillow made by mom. It has one little, has a little stain there from the quilting fabric. And it is $15 and it's number 35. $15, number 35 for the vintage quilt square pillow made by my mother. Guess who? Shirley Pearl. Yep. Yay, Shirley Pearl. I do have two more pillows that I'll be selling on um, Instagram. Okay, I have these milk glass flower pots. They're made by Fire King. They're the Jacob's Ladder, which a subscriber told me that. They're hobnail, and then they have these, looks like a ladder, and they call these Jacob's Ladder. Take them out. So you've got big one and little one, and I'm selling them together as a set now. The big one is marked Pyrex, or I'm sorry, not Pyrex, Fire King. They are Fire King Jacob's Ladder. They're marked Fire King on the bottom. This one, however, the small one is not 
marked anything, but it's the exact same pattern, the exact same design. And you get the set of them for, where are you at price tag? $16 for the set and they're number one. $16 for the Fire King Jacob's Ladder flower pots. $16 number one. For this. Mariah's snack. Mariah's snack. And it wouldn't be a sale if I didn't have a fairy lamp because I've got several of them because I'm selling off my collection and I keep finding them. It's a little bizarre. It's like everywhere I go, I find one, which is cool because I'll buy them. As long as y'all want them, I'll keep buying them. I still have a couple in my collection that I don't know. I, ha I, I, I would like to keep, but this one is the um yeah Bull diamond point my mind went blank uh it is indiana glass in the amber color now the glass itself is amber it's not it's not a uh, flash painted the glass itself is the actual color of the fairy lamp the the these amber ones look really neat in the fall with a candle in there so that's what you do you put a candle in here you put the lid on and it creates a little ambiance in your room um this is 16 dollars, and it is number 25 there's no damage on it there's no chips or cracks 16 dollars, number 25 shirley pearl the amber is pretty common i do see the amber a lot but and when we think of the fairy lamps, we don't want amber right now necessarily because it's summer. And But when the fall time comes around, you're going to wish you had the amber ones. All right, I have a couple more things left. These are the things that I love. I love me a good lard can. Don't you like lard cans? Because I do. I like them especially when they have the lids because you can use them to stack other things on uh you know well you know what i mean you can stack other things on it but i love these you can take the lid off of these and put a plant in it and then hang it that's a neat look too but this one is swift's silver leaf Bro silver leaf brand pure lard manufactured by swift and company general office chicago illinois and i like that it has the leaves on it and i like that it's rusty this is the legit, it's not a reproduction. There's no barcode on there at all. It's just, oh, lardy lardy is right. The amber piece, I believe it's called Diamond Point. Huh? Fairy Lamp. Fairy Lamp, yeah. So this is $19 and it's light, it's pretty lightweight too. $19 and it's number 57. $19, number 57, for the lard can. 57 is Jean Draper. Je Jeannie Draper, Jean Draper. Yeah, I like these. And I will be showing some, I have several more lard cans that I will be showing in upcoming weeks. They're up high, I mean, you need to get them down. All right, and I have, let me show this one first. I like this, now this is not going to be fun to ship it's not going to be fun to ship but it's really cool and mom and i had a discussion i think that it's a punch bowl she seems to think that it's a chip and dip bowl i don't know maybe y'all can say but it is this really pretty atomic um it is made by anchor hawking and it has like the fade on it i love the atomic look on it it's got the gold and the let me turn this one so you don't see the tag so i kind of think it's a punch bowl but isn't it pretty wouldn't you be fancy serving punch out of this for the holidays now this is a big boy i know it's a sad bowl you know who you know you could use it forever whatever you want now I know the chip and dip bowls have the little hook, but this, those are you, those have been more lighter weight to me. This is pretty, it's pretty bulky and it's pretty thick there at the bottom. But I think, how much do you think that it weighs? 
I would say at least, you wanna go weigh it? I'm gonna have Emma go weigh it. Um, it's missing the little bowl. I don't know, I, I, I've, I've heard it as both. Um, it's in good condition, there's no chips or cracks on it. Emma's going to go and weigh it. Uh, it, it is heavy. She's brrr, four, pounds. four pounds. It weighs four pounds. It's a big bowl. But you could serve salad and you could do whatever you would want to with this. I know. I don't have the yeah, if it's a punch bowl, I do not have the cups. This is all I got. This is all I got. And it is $20. And it is number 32. $20. Number 32. I love it. It's so pretty. But it's heavy. Shirley Andrea. Pearl. No. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl, your boxes always weigh so much. But I pack them pretty good. Hmm. A popcorn bowl. Yeah, shipping it to California would be a little pricey. It would be, we love Shirley Pearl. So this is another pick by dad. It's a little yellow duck. Isn't it cute? Again, I didn't look up this. It's marked USA. You know, there's all kinds of different pottery. This isn't, this, well, I just said it's USA, but you can tell, I can just tell by feeling it that it is an American made piece. It's just thick and chunky and chunky things. Pottery pieces are typically American made. It's just a little just happy, happy little yellow sunny duck. And he is a planter. Very clean. No chips, no cracks on it anywhere. I know sometimes you'll find little hairline cracks around the, the neck and the bottom, but this one doesn't have any. It's really Shawnee. I know. I again I did not look this up. It's been a it's been a busy weekend. Um, I, and I started setting the stuff out and I wanted to sit down and kind of research the stuff and I haven't. Yes, it, it could be Shawnee. It could be McCoy. It has resemblances of both. Uh, but I, I don't know for sure. So I don't want to say. So it is, it is a salad bowl. Okay. It is $16 and it's number three. The little duck, little yellow duck. $16, number three. Stacy Brinkley. Stacy Brinkley. All right, the last thing, you know. Oh no, I got, I have two more things. Let me show this. This you is just. To... Oh, I got three more things. This is a a folly fork. Do y'all know what a folly fork is? Because I don't. It's a folly fork. It is a big, big fork that kind of looks like a spatula without. The top on it. Do y'all know what a folly fork is? Because I have never heard of a folly fork, but that's what it says. Folly fork. And it has a wooden handle. I just kind of liked it. I like vintage kitchen tools because, again, you can just put them in a crock. And they're just kind of a fun, fun piece. Oh, for spaghetti? Like to eat it with? Is it for shredding? I don't know. I don't know. It is stainless, so this is stainless, so it won't rust. It is three dollars. <laughs> it looks like a kitty litter. <laughs> it's not though, but it does kind of use it. It's three dollars and it's number forty-six. Connie, what do you use it for? Connie says she got one as a wedding gift. What do you use it for? I'm curious. How do you spell that? Folly. F O L E Y. Did I not put it on the list? It could be a hair pick. You put spatula. Well, I six Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. So what was this used for? Connie, let me know. I'm curious. All right, I have a quilt. Oh, now this quilt is Oh no, this Oh, you got the salad bowl as a wedding gift. I gotcha. I think Folly is a brand name. There was Folly other kitchen gadgets. Okay. Like potatoes. I'm going to have to Google it later because I'm curious about it. It's also called a blending fork. It's also called a blending fork. Okay. Well, this quilt is funky. I mean, not funky in a bad way, funky in a good way. Emma is going to help me hold it up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. She loves being on camera. 
you have to hold it where the tag. So this is like a patchwork, like a granny square-esque quilt. See the funky colors? I'm going to hold up. It is a good throw size. It's a good throw blanket size. It, it is thick. It's a, I mean, it's, it's going to be hefty to ship. But the squares, for the most part, there's some, it's like more green on this end and, then more, and more pink, pink on that pink. end. And it's got the little yarn knots in it. The fabric itself is, someone's calling me. The fabric itself is polyester. Like these are polyester squares. And it's soft, cottony on this side. So it is a good, I call this a good like throw blanket size. I don't think that it would fit on a bed. I'd I be know. more of a, yeah, you're done. Okay. It'd be more of a, um, like a throw blanket or like for a porch swing. Someone said from Google, does a great job mashing potatoes, making guacamole. Ooh, yeah. Blending fat into flour for pastry, beating eggs, stirring sauces, mixing batters, whisk, and salad dressings. Huh. Well, thank you, Mariah, for looking that up. You saved me a Google. So this quilt is $35. And like I said, it's hefty. Thick quilt. It's a thick quilt. So it's going to be a little something to ship. It is $35 and it's number 55. $35, number 55, the fun yet funky quilt. I bet who's going to get it. I don't know yet, but I'm making a guess. Let me move you back. Suzanne McLean, I missed everything for at least the first half. Aww. It's refreshing. Oh, Suzanne. Suzanne McLean, you got the quilt. No, wait, it's 55. Oh, wait. It's $35. It's $35 for number 55. Suzanne. I think she's the only one who wants it, so. All right. Su Suzanne, do you want the quilt? It's $35 for number 55. Gotcha. Okay. Do you ship in, these in poly bags or large flat rate boxes? Um, I put them in a, yeah, it depends on what you get. If, if someone orders a lot of stuff, I try to fit it all in together and I kind of use the quilt as a little bit more padding, but I'm, I tend to ship them. I have big poly bags, so I'll put it in a poly bag and sometimes I'll put it in another poly bag. So I'll have like one layer of protection and then I'll put it in another layer of protection. It's just going to be, it's going to be cheaper for the customer if you ship it in a poly bag. I mean, you could put it, I could try to fit it in a flat rate box and see which one would be cheaper. Wi-Fi is doing crazy things. Oh, no. Well, I got one more thing. One more thing. And I like to save the best for last, but I love these. This is a paint, two paint by number pieces. What poly bag fits? I had chipped a row and had to use a box. Um, they're like... 25 by 28 or something like that. They're big. I send me send me an email, Thrifter Junker, Vintage Hunter, and I'll um I'll let you know. But I I I get mine from Amazon and I just ordered some and I think I got like 50 of them for $18. And that'll last me a long time. Okay. If you have a question about the big poly bags leave it in your email and I'll, I'll send you that information. So this, I have two paint by numbers. This one has ducks on it. They are, I'll kind of zoom in so you can see that they are paint by numbers. Now they, they're in these frames that are, are plastic. I'm not real crazy for the frames and they do have glass and I will, um, let you know, or you let me know if you want me to take them out of the frames and just send the prints. It will be cheaper to ship that way. And I'll show you, let me show you this one too. This one has pheasants on it. Duck hunt. Yeah, it does remind me of that. Here's the pheasants. But see, the frames themselves are not that great. They're plastic. They do have the glass. But if you want me to ship them in frames, I will. Just let me know. How do you know painting is a paint by number? Just by looking at it. You can tell because they... 
they look like they've been painted at home. I don't know if you can, you can kind of see how the colors are kind of muddled together. Fatbird Finds is working on their paint by number. They have one of a dinosaur. So they're going to be getting that done soon. <laughs> one of these days. But yeah, you can just tell by looking at them. I did get another paint by number over the weekend that I'm, I'm excited about. It's pretty cool. And I got it for a great price. But yeah, these are really, really popular right now. So if you find these out at Goodwill, because you do find them at Goodwill, because sometimes Goodwill don't know then you know you can i would i would pick them up but i'm selling the set of them today for 45 dollars. you get both of them and just let me know if you want them in the frames or if you want me to ship them out of the frames you get both of them for 45 dollars, and they're number 16. number 16 45 dollars let me know if you want them shipped in the frames or not. 16. 16. Barb Murphy. Barb Murphy. Yeah, each color has a very defined edge. Yeah, you can just you can just tell by looking at it. Um, and you can find them at Goodwill because like I said, Goodwill don't always know. They don't always know. And we're going to try to keep that from them so they don't know it. Okay, who did you say won the? Barb Murphy. Barb Murphy. No frames. Okay, remind me when you send me an email. So if you have purchased something, make sure that you send me an email. Thrifter Junker, Vintage Hunter at gmail.com. Nesting Haven, Nicole Nesting Haven is having a live sale tonight at 7 Eastern. So make sure that you go check her out. Tomorrow at 1 Eastern is Michelle Comfy Cozy Living. She has a lot of things that are very similar to the things that I like. So make sure that you subscribe to her channel and check out her sale tomorrow afternoon. And then tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern is Patrick from Trusty Huckster Mercantile. So his his um, lives are a lot of fun too. So make sure that you subscribe to all of us and I'm getting ready to go over to on Instagram to sell some more items. So if you're, if you're going to join me over there, give me a few minutes and I'll be on there. But if you're watching this later on, make sure that you do give this video a thumbs up and like, share, comment, and subscribe. Patrick's I do. Oh, Patrick's is at eight tomorrow. Eastern. Patrick's is at eight Eastern tomorrow. I'm going to put it on my community tab, but thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.